Congratulations! You have become the proud owner of a Cheryl Ann design wall. Whether you have received a large 72 inch size in either white or gray, the medium 54 inch size, or the tabletop 36 inch size, you will love its versatility and usefulness. Laying out intricate patterns or alternate designs and quilt block placements on your personal design wall to ensure proper placement has never been easier or more fun. The freestanding walls take up a minimum amount of floor space when in use and collapse to fit in a nylon carrying bag for convenient portability and storage. The assembly of the design wall in 10 easy steps is very simple and straightforward. First, open the carrying bag and remove the contents. Check to see that you have all the parts. You should have eight tent poles, six molded clips, four molded corners, two rubber feet, two stabilizer bars with a clip on each end, and one cotton flannel piece of the desired size and color. Second, select an area, floor space, tabletop, bed, etc., large enough to spread your flannel with the front side down. Third, assemble all eight tent poles by holding one end and letting the other end fall toward the floor. The interior rubber shock cord will pull the pole pieces into place. Fourth, slide one assembled pole into each of the four sleeves sewn on the outside edges of the flannel. Fifth, attach one of the four molded corner pieces to each of the four corners by sliding the poles into the corner piece. Attaching the fourth corner piece should stretch the flannel slightly. Six, take two remaining poles and slip a clip on both ends of each pole. Then lay the two poles across the flannel at right angles to each other. Connect the clips to the outside frame poles near the center of each side by fastening the clips over the flannel and onto the poles. On the large 72 inch design walls, take care to fasten the clips immediately above or below the metal connector of the tent pole. Fastening these cross braces in place ensures a taut piece of flannel. Seventh, take the two remaining tent poles and make legs of them by placing a rubber foot on one end and a clip on the other end of each pole. To ensure a snug fitting so the clip remains in place, we recommend you wrap a piece of tape adhesive, scotch, duct tape, etc. around the end of each pole before slipping the clip over the tape. Eighth, fasten the assembled legs near the ends of the top rail of the design wall by pushing the clip over the top rail pole. Ninth, attach one end clip of a stabilizer bar near the bottom of each leg. Fasten the other end clip to the bottom rail pole near the corner of the wall, thereby holding the bottom of the leg approximately 17 inches from the bottom of the design wall. Tenth, stand up the design wall and enjoy using it. No fasteners or pins are needed to hold your fabrics in place. Static electricity and gravity do the job for you and neither of them will ever wear out. To disassemble the wall for storage or transporting, simply reverse the assembly order and replace the parts in the nylon bag. Should you ever desire to wash the flannel, we recommend using cold water and then drying the flannel stretched on the frame to prevent shrinkage.